good afternoon. My name is uh, Viktor Lebedev. I'm, I represent Saudi Slab company from Russia. We are one of the major players in the Russian monitoring market. So today, today I would like to present one of our latest projects that's still ongoing. Uh, in this project, we monitor frameless residential building. So before going to technical details, I would like to give you some brief history, some small historical review. Uh, the construction of residential buildings made from precast uh, panels became widely popular in my country in the third quarter of the last century. So... The frameless scheme allows to build residential building quickly and inexpensively. Thanks to these advantages, lots of towns all over the USSR got similar districts that were filled with identical buildings. So if you ever be, will be in Russia, you will see lots, lots of, such, of similar districts all over the country. Despite constant improvements uh, by the 1990s, the panel housing was already considered uh, hopelessly outdated. Five-story panel buildings across uh, USSR have become a symbol of the past. Meanwhile, in, uh, after 1991, you know, Soviet Union crashed, uh, old panel factories were privatized and uh, began to work for commercial <laughs> developers. However, existing types of panel building losing market, uh, losing out in efficiency to more modern methods, especially monolithic construction, for many parameters. But uh, for example, for many years, the maximum height of such kind of buildings was limited to 75 meters. In 2000. 17, Moscow government announced wide renovation programs that include demolition of 5,000 buildings that were constructed in 1950s, 1960s, and uh, new construction in these districts. After that announcement, uh, developers uh, that own factories, panel factories, have become more motivated and began to look for opportunities how to build modern panel houses with a good financial efficiency. P Company, one of the leading Russian developers, has created a smart design team to develop new types of residential buildings. For one of the projects located in Moscow, this one of the picture, it was decided to build a residential building with a height of 100 meters with a new technology of panel joint which it's not welded at the level, it's uh, connected to each other with a special uh, joint. Never before frameless panel residential buildings reached such a height in Russia. Uh, structural engineers from Peak Company decided to equip the building with a monitoring system to empirically confirm the correctness of the design calculations. In summer of 2019, Peak Project attracts Saudi Slab for the development of a structural health monitoring system that can give uh, the opportunity to use observational methods. In late 2019, we provide the monitoring concept and the budget for the implementation of the system, and it was approved. According to the concept, monitoring system consists of 36 vibrating wire strain gauges inside panels, 20 tilt meters, and five 3D accelerometers, three axis accelerometers. But the major task was to start gathering the data from the sensors in panels as early as possible. Referring to the construction procedures and uh, safety codes, uh, Russian safety codes, it means that sensor should be connected to the acquisition system just after the floor of next level will be installed. It's not possible to come to the level before. So what we did, we, we did a, a design that includes standard drawings according to the Russian codes. But to do this, we had to do 
very detailed 3D design for every element because the assembly of boxes and every uh, at the level should be done very quickly and every element should be connected to each other and the cable should pass through the panels uh, from through the joints through the panel joint so after the design were approved and we supply the instruments the next stage very very difficult one was the installation of the factory as i told that it was absolutely new type of panel joint and uh, new type of panels so not only for us but also for workers on uh, on a factory and so we have to carefully install sensor wire cables inside the panel and supervise all the stages of panel precast and concreting and uh, the procedure of panel preparation is uh, something if everything okay is 12 hours, but if it's uh, if the quality control engineer stops, it can take 14, 16, or even 20 hours. So the next step was to install the panels on site. So we are not installing ourselves, but we supervise how the, all the procedure is passing and connect the sensors to the data collection units that were located at the every controlled level. As I told, there was a very ambitious target to start on my mon online monitoring just after installation with minimal delay. So finally, we got the data to our cloud monitoring platform in one week after panel was installed to the final position. So, and I believe this is a very good result for the real construction site because with monolithic construction, typically we have to wait much longer until the framework will be deassembled. Uh, deassembled. So, uh, finally, what we get, so we provide the data to the uh, engineers and uh, that allows uh, engineers from PIC to check their calculation. Online monitoring revealed uh, gaps or incorrect estimation in the existing mathematical model. The most important was the rigidity of panel joint platforms and estimation of temperature effects. So the project is still ongoing, results are still streaming to the clients and we are waiting for the, uh, for the time where we can install additional sensors. Uh, so, at the end of the presentation, I would like to say that Solislab are not only the monitoring company, we are providing solution for the digital construction. Please check our virtual boss and uh, chat with me if you would like to get more information about our solution. So I finished. If you have any question, please, I am ready. So I have a question in chat from Amir who is a senior, senior geotechnical engineer from Mokona Group, Johannesburg. How the effect of temperature variation was considered of the interpretation of strain gauges? Okay, let me back to this, to this slide. So you see similar data. At the level picture, you see the strain, the deformation which is not corrected by the temperature, temperature. And the, at the right picture, you see the corrected data. So it's possible to use both corrected and uncorrected uh, database. So the, another thing that need to be considered is the time yield of concrete. So you know it's not it's not uh, easy task. So but yeah, it's. I mean we are still we are still in contact with the client. So we are together. We do this job. We provide data. We advise 